going? We're going to miss you, see. <laughs> On our way to Pittsburgh Airport. You are Miss Ohio USA for 2020. down below for the notification bell so you guys know when I upload next. And this is Miss USA Week Day 1. We just landed in Memphis. There's Chanel. Say hi guys. I'm smiling at you. Under the mask. So we just arrived around what, 11, 12, 30? It's 12, 30 and we're about to go get tested for COVID and then straight into our room, right? For the whole day until tomorrow registration. And then hopefully some food, yeah. We're starving. <laughs> I just made it to my quarantine hotel room. It's huge. And hi. Hi guys. I will be in here while they do my COVID test. I will eat here. And then tomorrow morning, once my test comes back negative, I will go into room 305. Right now, I'm in room 408, and then I'll move in to 305 with Chanel and Michigan. Then we both test negative. This was my little outfit for the airport. <laughs> All of the girls, I've seen some of them already. Some of them had registrations today. Let's flip this over so I can see you. Here we go. I will be recording on my phone most of the week because it's just easier to carry with everything going on. I did not do my makeup today. I probably should, but yeah. I'm gonna take out clothes for registration and start ironing and do what I gotta do, but I'm gonna go get lunch first with Chanel because we are starving. And we're gonna have dinner around seven tonight. It's actually gonna be delivered to us in a little brown paper bag. We're gonna leave it on the door, knock, 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 and then we can pick it up and eat. I got a Caesar salad with chicken and a water bottle. Um, it's gonna be later in the day, so I don't wanna eat anything too heavy, but right now I should get something that's pretty heavy that will last me through the day. And through the COVID testing and all of that. So I'm gonna change my shoes um, and put some of my little booties on. I think that'll be better. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys down soon. Actually, I just realized I only have my overnight bag. Um, I don't have my booties with me. So, yeah. Everything is sanitized and ready for us to use. I am so thankful for the Miss USA organization taking every protocol they needed to make this night happen for all of us. Thank you so much if you guys are watching. If anybody's watching, we truly appreciate it. And this girl here is gonna follow every rule and every regulation to allow this to be a safe and fun environment for everyone. I'm excited. <sighs> guys, comment down below if you're ready for Miss USA. <laughs> Love you guys. All right, I'm about to get some lunch with Shana. Let's go. COVID test. Hi right, guys, so that wasn't that bad actually. A lot of people, I wanted to sneeze, but it wasn't that bad. Now I have to go to my room and quarantine for 12 hours until my result comes back. So, let's go. About to get in my jammies. It's about the clothes that I need for tomorrow. And relax. Because tomorrow, 
is honestly when it's game on. So. <sighs> Que la gente latina les quería decir gracias por su apoyo, que lo siento todos los días, los comentarios, los mensajes, los shares, gracias. Siento que estoy en la isla, pero estoy ahora en sí <ríe> Un beso y un abrazo a todo el mundo y gracias por su apoyo. Ahora vamos a irnos para el cuarto. Tengo que esperar los resultados del examen de COVID y cuando salga negativo mañana pues me muevo con Michigan Chanel y ahí sí que empieza la competencia me ven hoy así pero mañana pues le damos un poquito de show como dice pero hoy era solamente para el examen no quería no quería hacer tanto Alright, time to do the pajamas. I'm gonna put you guys up here. I feel like you guys can see better up here. Maybe. Quarantine time by myself. Let's go. Taking out right now my outfit for tomorrow. Just so I have it laying out. Ready to go. You guys can't see me right now. Not only does it keep my mind at ease, but I don't have to worry about the outfits or missing something. Everything's packed up. So I got the cutest gift for my pageant mom for the week and for our head, our head chaperone. So there is a store, well, not really a store, she works through her home in Cleveland and she does these soaps. So I did this bow. Oh my God. Oh, this smells amazing. Okay. I don't want to open it up because um, they're already done and ready to go for them. But I have two soaps here. It's hard to see you guys, but um, right here. I have two soaps and one has the state of Ohio kind of outlined and carved in with um, red and white and blue coloring. And the other one has the flower of Puerto Rico, La Amapola. And it's carved into the soap as well with some of the red and green leaves popping out of the soap. It is the most beautiful and detailed thing ever. I know a soap, you would think like, oh, it's not, it's not just a nice gift. No, but guys, oh, these smell so, so good. I am putting her description down below. Go check her out. I will be posting these soaps 
on my social media because this is insane. She has a talent that people need to see and actually you can tell there's a little leaf popping out right here. That's one of the leaf of the Amapola soap and then the other one is the Ohio soap. I'm definitely taking a picture of these and posting them and I really hope um, that they like them but they smell great. You actually use this to take a shower so you don't even have to get it out of the actual like baggie. You use the bag to actually soap yourself up. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, or you can take it out and use it, but it's so beautiful. I found her out through a very good friend, Jessine. She gave me one of her soaps for an event that I did as a gift, and it was a pumpkin coming out of a soap. The cutest thing in the world, and they smell absolutely amazing. So I have both of those right here for them. Super cute, super different. It's not candy or food. I did have Spanish candy, Puerto Rican candy to bring her, but um, it, honestly, I was gonna make a little basket for them with the soaps and the candy. I just didn't have enough room to put the basket in. And then I didn't know how to give them the candy with the soap without the basket. You know, like, it just didn't look as pretty anymore to me. So I wanted to show you guys those, but actually, I should probably show you guys. I'll show them to you guys before I give it to them. So stay tuned to the next video. And my social media. But check her out down below. your makeup like this <laughs> pageant tips as I compete for a pageant how do you keep your face stuff together and your bathroom stuff like this and all this fits in my little personal item in here so and every pageant girl should have a portable mirror that turns on. Let me see. It's actually on, but it's it's really bright in here. But off, on. You can't really tell. But when I'm close to close, close to it, it really helps. What I'm saying is, you guys need a nice portable mirror. <laughs> if you don't know when one's available, when one's not. Actually, you also need an extension, which I didn't bring. I forgot an extension. I also brought little snacks for today while I wait for dinner. Like I said earlier, dinner arrives around six. They allowed us to choose between five and nine, and I chose seven. I'm just gonna have a chicken Caesar salad with a bottle of water, nice and easy dinner before going to bed. Um, but yeah. I'll check back once food's here, and maybe we can have dinner together and chit chat uh, about a week coming up. Mm. See you guys in a little bit. I don't know about all of that. <laughs> so good. I'm gonna eat my din din. All right guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.